Apparently, Anthropic killed MCP. Is that actually true? Is it an exaggeration? And what are developers supposed to do instead? Well, first, we'll quickly explain what MCP is. It's a toolbox of tools that your agent is able to call around some sort of domain, like the GitHub MCP, which gives you all sorts of tools to manage your GitHub repos, like pull requests, issues, etc. Now, this is very useful, but also a bit costly with the context window. There's 40 tools in the GitHub MCP alone. And as you start stacking up more MCP servers, especially irrelevant ones, it'll start to bloat the context window and hurt the quality of results. It's kind of like loading up a college curriculum with object-oriented programming and UML diagrams, and then asking students to go off and build full-stack web apps. Definitely not speaking from experience. Ideally, an agent could just kind of learn what it needs to learn, depending on the task, like reaching out to GitHub and the Java docs when it's working on some open source server, or reading the SvelteKit docs and your Figma mocks to build a full stack app, and so on. As I was editing this video, Anthropic did do exactly that using the tool search tool. This searches through all of your MCP tools instead of loading them up front as context. Has a few caveats though. MCPs still have really large tool descriptions and outputs, so they will be heavy on context and specific to Anthropic models only. So the tips I talk about later are gonna be useful for any model in any case. Now, what other options are there? Well, there's a lot of lower fidelity options like Markdown and CLIs. For example, you could just describe everything that an agent can do in a rules file. You could, for example, write a rule saying to only use the GitHub CLI when he asks questions about pull request. You can also take this a little bit further with Claude skills. These are like rules files, but grouped around a specific domain. You might make a skill for professional tester, for example, that knows how to use the vtest CLI and describe some best practices in a markdown file. The last thing I'll call out is a warp specific feature called workflows. This is something I've used for years to just save commands that I forget the specifics of, where you can set the title, description, and arguments, kind of like a command template. But agents can also access these. So if I ask it to compress a set of videos, for example, it'll know to call FFmpeg with the arguments that I prefer. So with all that, are MCPs dead? Well, I would say they're definitely overused. Just install the ones that will be generally useful and be wary of the context window. I'm doing weekly videos again, so subscribe to learn.